family, it's the Mama Home Diva, and in today's video, we're gonna be touring the Richfield. Y'all, I love this home. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to show it to you. So what I wanna do is just walk around a little bit and let you see the exterior of the home. Really pretty. I love the two types of uh, siding here. You have the batten board and the regular siding. Really nice. So, this is a Clayton Homes. It's 32 by 52. This one is actually sold, but it still has the steps. So they let me take a peek inside. This is the exterior of the home, you guys. Just wanted to show you what it looks like from the back. Can't wait to get in to the inside and show it to you. So let's go have a look, see. All right, we'll go on in. I love this door with the peak windows at the top. When you open the door, this is what you see. Really beautiful. Love it. Look at the tray ceilings. You got can lights up there. All it needs is a ceiling fan. Really nice. So we'll go in the kitchen and twirl around and let you take a look. This is the living room. Really lovely. This isn't small furniture in here either, you guys. So you got space for your furniture. I could see putting the TV on this cattle corner wall. You can absolutely add an entryway. Y'all know I love when they cut out the uh, carpet so you have room for your shoes and things of that nature without staining the carpet. I fight my carpet all the time, but anyway, Nice entryway right there. Love this cattle corner wall. Again, you have the outlets for your TV and I could absolutely see 75 inches up there. Really nice, really lovely. So living room, all right. From the living room, you look over into the kitchen. Now to the left you have your kitchen and to the right you have your dining room which is really nice you've got pendant lights in here your sink is actually in the island but you have enough space in this island for people to sit while you wash dishes or prep food etc your dishwasher is there and you've got so you've got a drawer here and then on the rest of the island those are cabinets really nice now the at the island is a charcoal gray and then everything else is white which is really nice love it love this cattle the cattle corner cabinets right here love that you have a drawer for every cabinet and that you have pantry space around your refrigerator so let's take a look really nice really nice so you have a you have additional shelving in each section you see that it's not one big open space but you have that additional shelving in each area really nice and then you've also got pantry over here let's see if it's the same really nice love it love it love it the same over here so that's really wonderful now another feature that i like in this kitchen is the cattle corner cabinets let's take a look at this upper cabinet here as you can see there's some nice strong cabinets up here you have a lot of space for all of your needs. There's a transom window here in the kitchen. And then in addition to all of the outlets or plugs that you have, this one has two USB plugs. So you can charge your phones there as well. So really, really, really pretty kitchen. Love the flooring. Um, it works really well with the counter space. And the pendant lighting is super cute in here now in the living room 
you can see the size of this dining room table so think about how big you would like your dining room table in here there's enough space in here for whatever size you choose whether it's square rectangular or round so really nice two large windows in here bringing in lots of natural light love it love it love it now behind the dining room you have your utility room your utility room that door right there is for your ac unit and then you have your water heater here there's a door that closes and then next to your back door is where your washer and dryer would go and plenty of room for storage you also have that space over there i would actually put shelf in there i would since you you're not going to be using that door you can put as large as of a unit as you want and put all of your storage needs right there so really nice all right so that is the laundry room you guys let's go ahead and take a look at the additional bedrooms they are going to be uh on the other side of this this uh front door so after I spin around here let's go around and take a look at the additional bedrooms now another thing that I like about this space is that it seems to be kind of tucked off this first door here is a uh, coat closet and it's long and deep so you have space for storage as well and then around this corner you have the bedrooms and your additional bath now this house doesn't have light so bear with me on how dark it is but this is your additional <clears throat> bathroom love the space on the countertop love 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 the rectangular sink there's that beautiful flooring and you have all the space you need and I actually love that round shower curtain rod as well so really pretty that is the additional bedroom and now let's take a excuse me bathroom and now we'll take a look at the first additional bedroom. Lots of space in here. Lots of natural light coming in through that big window. Again, um, there is carpet in this house. It's a dark gray, which is really pretty. You have a walk-in closet right here. Love, love, love it. Love, love, love. All right, so I'll give you one more look at the view of this bedroom sorry my uh, battery died so now let's go take a look at the second additional bedroom uh, seems to be the same size room again you have lots of space in here for your furniture and another walk-in closet so very nice now one thing that they got right I'm always talking about how they should bring the shelving all the way around and uh, home connections got that right you guys so you have shelving all the way around lots of space for all your needs all right let's go take a look at the master i know you all have been waiting to see what the master looks like so let's go take a look at the master it's going to be on the opposite side of the house next to the kitchen uh the master is really a nice size love the size of this master bedroom really pretty two big windows in here and one thing I like about the majority of the homes at this site is that the master and the master bath and the master closet are separate so let's take a look first at the master closet now when you first walk in you think it's small but it's really long and deep which I appreciate so you have a nice size master in here you have shelving up top and um, yeah I could share this room if I had to but since there is more than one uh, walk-in closet in this house then I probably wouldn't have to but this is a really nice size master and it'll fool you again when you open the door it doesn't look like it it's as big as it is but it's really a nice size now you also have a nice size master bath you have two shelves and i really love uh two sinks and i really love it because you have the makeup counter between the two sinks so it gives everybody their own space 
you've got three big windows here mirrors here and those large rectangular sinks and then across from the sinks you have a deep garden tub with a transom window which is really nice love these big tubs we have one ourselves and then you have another transom window in this huge shower now this shower is humongous you could put a twin size bed in there and take a nap humongous shower love it it doesn't have a door but it doesn't need it and then you have a toilet room with a window that actually opens so that's really good for ventilation I love that about these separate uh, toilet rooms when they have a window. So really lovely, nice master bath, absolutely, and master closet. There goes my mister. He was checking out the houses with me. Let's go take a look at the price though, you guys. I know you're ready for the price. So again, this is the Richfield 1447. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's 32 by 52, uh, really beautiful home. The all-in price, what I mean by that is you get the homes, set up and delivery, steps and decks, plumbing, uh, vinyl underpinning, 164.9. So that's the all-in price. If you like this price, you're interested in the home, all the information I have is below in the description. We'll see you guys in the next video and thanks so much for watching.